Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. As with any product line, as it grows, more and more products are added to it to help fill the line out and give you options. Well, that's the same thing we are seeing with the PowerGrip line. PowerGrip line has grown dramatically and so have our collet options. As you know, PowerGrip has five different series from PG6 up through PG32. Not all the collets we are gonna talk about today are available in each series. So please take time, check out the link below to look at our catalog and see which ones are available in which series. Let's start off talking about our coolant options or how to get coolant through your cutting tool. Well, all standard collets are metallically sealed by design. That means there's nothing extra you have to do to the collet. You just have to make sure that your cutting tool is making contact with the supplied backup screw and it will be metallically sealed for 2000 PSI. This makes it very, very simple to use and it maintains its metallic seal over the full range of that backup screw. But what if I don't have a coolant through cutting tool? What are my options to get my high pressure coolant to the end of my cutting tool? Well, we have two different options for you to think about right now. The first option we have for coolant flooding is our coolant flush collet. Now, with these collets, I have slots down the ID of the collet that create ports along the edge of the cutting tool to flush my coolant. So let's take my solid carbide tool and let's put it into my collet. Now, when you look at the face, you're gonna see I have ports all along the outside that flush the coolant along my cutting edges. This is a very good way to wash your chips away, keep your cutting application cool, and use that high pressure coolant system that you have. What if I have an application where I need to make sure I maintain higher clamping forces and higher rigidity during the cut? Well, we have an option for that as well. And that is the coolant bore collet. Now on this one, you're gonna notice the ID is fully symmetrical. There are no slots down the ID, but there are three holes on the face of the collet. Those holes go all the way through the collet itself and they allow the coolant to shoot down along the edges. Now, the benefit of this is unlike the coolant flush where the slots are in the ID, I don't lose any contact with the cutting tool. I maintain my surface contact all the way around for a much more rigid application and higher clamping forces. Now, because we are drilling all the way through these tools, you do have some size limitations, so please check out the literature below to help you see which sizes these are offered in. Just like our coolant through collets, we do have power grip collets that give you the option for how much shank you need to hold on to. Now, if we look at our standard collet, well, all of our power grip collets have a minimum engagement of tool shank that needs to be inside the collet bore. And that's dictated by the backup screw that moves up and down inside the collet. But what happens if the tool shank I need to hold on to is too short for a standard collet, even with the backup screw all the way up? Well, when that happens, we have what we call our short collets. These collets allow us to project more of the tool length out and hold less of the tool shank inside. And that ranges between about six millimeters and 10 millimeters of additional projection length. So same half inch tool, now put into a short collet, you can see it's sticking out now about 10 millimeters farther. Now that's the short collet. But what about applications where my cutting tool is too long and I need to put more inside the tool shank to reduce my amount of tool projection. Well, when that happens, we move to our power grip long collets. Now, these are a little bit different. You'll notice in the back, you have a cap that's more of a cup, and that's what's allowing the piece of carbide to go in farther. Now with these, again, it's about 10 millimeters more you can put into the tool shank. So my same, half inch piece of carbide, 
and you can see now I only have about a half inch total sticking out. So all the details on the amount of material or the amount of tool shank that will fit into a long, short, or standard can be found in the Regofix catalog. We have now added power grip tapping cowls to the product line. Now, you can find these in PG-15 and in PG-25 in metric and inch offerings. What's really nice about these, unlike the standard power grip collets that require H6 tooling, well, the tapping collets will work with your standard H9 taps, so you don't have to invest in expensive taps to use the advantage of the power grip system. Now, just like our GB rigid tapping ER collets, the power grip tapping collet does drive off of the flats of the, of the tap, and it is required for specific diameters for the, the taps themselves. Installation is really easy. Slide it in, give it a little twist to seat the, the flats, and it's good to go. And these also do come with a backup screw to help you easily preset your tool length. If you have other specialty applications, say turning, well, Power Grip is now available with turning collets. Now these do require that you use an H6 diameter bar and they do have the locating screw on the side so you can time the bar and the flat to your cutting application. What makes these tricky is you do have to have the correct type of presetter to preset your angle of your cutting tip, but these are available. For the very extreme heavy duty applications, we also offer the power grip secure grip options in PG-25 and in PG-32. Now, we've covered this quite extensively in other tech chats, so follow the link below for more information on secure grip. The specialty collets don't stop with PG-25 or PG-32. We do offer specialty collets all the way down to the PG-6 size. So let's talk about a few of those. One that we have had great success with is the sealed cap collet, or the SC PG collet. What's unique about this is you'll notice there are no slots protruding through the face of the collet itself. What this means, if you're cutting graphite, quartz, or any small particulate that can tend to damage the collet surface or damage your spindle if it gets embedded into it, well, that's where this collet comes in because it creates a natural seal on the outside because there are no slots. These collets are great to keep things clean and dust free in your assembly. For those people looking to do very small machining or drilling applications, don't forget that we also offer the microbore collets. Microbore collets are available in PG6 and in PG10 from 0.2 millimeters all the way up to one millimeter. So very, very small applications. These will work with your standard H6 shanks and will be able to be used in any standard power grip machine or PGC assembly method. For those customers that use something like a WTO quick flex system, we also offer the power grip quick change system for those. Now, what's unique about this isn't really the quick flex system because that was designed by WTO, but it's the power grip collet that goes into it that's very unique. These are called short tail collets. They are shorter in length than the standard collet and they are made for special applications like the WTO Quick Flex. Check the link below to see what our offering is for the Quick Flex adapters and the short tail collets that work with those. Last but not least, don't forget about our engineered solutions for power grip collets. Everything from our CO2 supercritical applications through regular MQL and MQL Lance connections. These are all available. Talk to your local Regofix technical team. They'll be more than happy to set you up with the proper tooling you need.